Over the last two years, the Rust developer community has grown 300%, tripling in size. In fact, it's the fastest growing developer community, according to Slash Data. Slash Data is an analyst firm based in London. They track global software developer trends through large-scale surveys. Their stated mission is to help the world understand developers. They recently released a report titled State of the Developer Nation 22nd Edition. This report goes over the most important trends they've seen by surveying over 20,000 developers in Q1 of 2022. Now, looking at the key insights of this report, specifically the language community section, we see that JavaScript unsurprisingly remains the most popular programming language in the world, followed by Python. But the third point states that Rust has nearly tripled in size in the past 24 months, going from 600,000 developers in Q1 of 2020 to 2.2 million in Q1 of 2022. In fact, later on in the report, they mentioned that Rust has the fastest growing language community. As a testament to this growth, recently the Rust subreddit, sitting at 182,000 members, has surpassed the Go subreddit, which is sitting at 179,000 members as of this recording. Despite this massive growth, Rust still has a relatively small community, sitting at 2.2 million members as compared to Go, which has 3.3 million, or C and C++, which has 11 million, or JavaScript, which has 17.4 million members. Now, this is actually exciting to me because it means Rust has a lot more room to grow, and if the momentum continues, we could see Rust overtaking some of these other languages in the next few years. Now, one interesting thing that this report mentions is that Rust is used primarily for AR VR development, the core components of AR VR and IoT apps, and it's least used in web development and mobile development. I personally use Rust for web development, whether it's building backend servers or WebAssembly apps, but let me know down in the comment section below if you've used Rust for AR VR development or IoT app development. In summary, the Rust developer community is growing blatantly fast and there's still so much more room to grow. If you want to take advantage of this massive opportunity and learn Rust, there are only two things you need to do. The first is subscribe to this channel and the second is to make sure to get your free Rust cheat sheet by heading over to letsgetrusty.com forward slash cheat sheet. With that said, stay rusty my friend and I'll see you in the next one.